Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorns. Now, I did want to give you guys a little more insight. So before we actually get into the cards, I'm going to be pulling out um, some of the seashells and let's see what spirit has for you guys. Okay, so this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, in regards to their love and romance for the month of December 2019. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their love and romance for the month of December 2019? Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, let's see exactly what's going on. All right, so in the past and passing for some of you Capricorns, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I see that you guys have um, had connections or temporary connections, uh, relationships that haven't really lasted or they're not um, ideal what you're looking for. And it almost it, it's almost a feeling as if um, jumping very quickly or very hasty. Now, this could be those of you guys, like I said, that have been single for quite a while, that you have or have a tendency in the past couple of months to jump from one relationship to another. So for those of you guys that have been single for a while and got into a relationship and it just didn't work out, and it's almost like a feeling of being or ending up in the same position that you were last year around this time. Spirit is definitely telling you that uh, there is a past um, behavior that needs to be addressed. Now, this could be, again, for those of you guys that have been uh, dating, but it just doesn't turn into something long term. What they're telling you is that you need to either stop rushing or giving the opportunity to get to know someone. Stop rushing very quickly because it's almost the feeling like jumping into a relationship without really knowing the person. And this could be for those of you guys that have children with um, with the past lover or with the person that you were in a relationship and a year ago, perhaps you were with a different relationship. So again, you have to be careful with that because you need to understand that the dynamics between you and a person are very important, especially if you are going from relationship to relationship, starting families. Um, and then being left as if or feeling that you're being left as like even the bringing of that child or uh, the pregnancy or whatnot, it's almost still feeling like you were pretty much left in the same position that you were a year from now. So again, be careful with that because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to expose children or, um, and this is something that I feel I shouldn't have to tell Capricorns. But they are saying that for some of you guys, you may have experienced that in the past, that you're such in a, you have such desire to manifest something long term, that when you get the opportunity to connect with someone, you kind of rush into it. So what they're telling you is take your time, Capricorn, and be careful. Again, like I said, not to be bringing up children or to be... Um, bringing children around chaotic type of energy you need to understand that this plays a very important role in their lives as well and this will be something that triggers or that um, will affect them in the long run so you have to be careful of, of not doing that Capricorn now for those of you guys that have or are currently in a long-term committed relationship um, try the best you can to maintain the relationship fresh now, when I say fresh, what they're saying is that a lot of you guys have a lot of things that are going on right now in the present. As you guys can see, we have a line here, and this line is signifying of present, and it's one in back of the other. So I see a lot of you guys very busy. For some of you guys, it could be like spending a lot of time at work, not really putting much effort into the relationship or being absent from the relationship because of business or because of work. And what they're telling you is there's a need of balance for that. You need to find that balance. Yes, it is extremely important for you Capricorns to maintain your focus and your goals because um, 
this and 2020 is going to play a very important role, not just in relationship-wise, but when it comes to your success, when it comes to your business, when it comes to what you're doing in the present time. And we'll get into that um, for the January readings for 2020. But what they are saying is that, yes, it is important to maintain that, but also understand that you need to you need to bring balance into your life. And that is uh, directly connected not only to relationships, but to your health, to your sleeping pattern as well, and the people around you. So you need to understand, Capricorn, that uh, business is not everything. <laughs> and um, and what they're saying is that, you know, balance is going to be something that is going to be very important um, for the end of December. Now, I also do want to mention for those of you Capricorns that recently have been either in a long-term monogamous relationship or for those of you guys that um, just started or are thinking of starting a family i do see pregnancy for you um i do see the possibility of pregnancy i want to say uh almost the last week of december going into the first two weeks of january uh you guys are going to be very very um fertile so be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant be careful with that because i do see uh pregnancy very prominent for you guys okay all right let's get into your rating now i've already shuffled the cards for time purposes so we're gonna get right into the reading let's see what spirit has for you capricorns for this month by the way happy birthday all right so your first card here is the lover's card now, the lover's card could represent um, having opportunities or being given opportunities. Uh, for others of you, it could actually symbolize having to deal or having to decide between two partners. Now, let's see what else is coming out. Wow, Capricorn. So, like I said, we will be speaking about astrology in the January reading for 2020 as they are there's a couple of major influences that are going to affect all of us and every single sign but particularly for you capricorn um as we will be having jupiter and saturn transit so that's going to be very major uh like i said you guys stay tuned for the january readings but here uh, at the present time you have the ace of cups so you have the lover's card and the ace of cups you also have the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, Four of Wands, Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So what they're telling you is that for the month of December, there's going to be, it's almost as if you're at crossroads right now, which is very momentous. And it also speaks greatly about the astrological uh, astrological planet alignments that are happening right now. Um, but again, with the, with the, you may be dealing with the Gemini. For others of you, you may be dealing with the fire energy, Aries, um, Sagittarius, or Leo. For others, you may be dealing with air sign as well, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Now, in the present, like I said, I see you guys at crossroads. Now, the obstacle is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is that of you are the only one that's holding yourself back, Capricorn, when it comes to relationships or when it comes to partnerships. Now, for some of you guys, again, like I mentioned um, in the previous reading with the shells, it's almost as if we continuously keep doing, you keep doing something that you've been doing for the past couple of years um and it's almost like a habit that you're not wanting to break or you're not wanting to let go of and spirit is telling you now is the time to do so capricorn because with saturn being in your first house there's going to be major decisions that are going to have to be taken and for some of you guys it could be dealing um it could be sorry it could be deciding between two different two different people because we do have the lover's card and the lover's card is having to make a choice. Now, in, you know, what's crowning you in the present time is the queen of swords. So I see you guys very methodical. Um, for some of you guys, it, it could even be like understanding that this year, perhaps you've experienced a lot of people coming in and out of your life. 
And it's almost like, again, like I said, the universe is helping you detach or cut off people that are no longer helping you or that are dragging you or that are keeping you down. And there is a lot of movement in regards to in regards to your to the business front. So with the page of wands, this is what you what you don't see coming that's coming towards you. So there is a lot of new endeavors that are coming for you, Capricorn. And with these endeavors, this could also represent a new person coming towards you. Now, if you are dealing with uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, I do see emotional fulfillment here and an opportunity to be able to stabilize your financial sector. So it could be that the relationship has, has taken its toll, perhaps because of finances. Uh, for others of you, it could even be looking into moving residency, as I do see uh, a lot of Capricorns out there um, making a move when it comes to uh, purchasing or buying a new home. For others of you, this could be your very first home that you purchase, and I do see all of that manifesting for you. Um, but with this change and with this, I want to say, life changes that are coming for you, I do see you guys going into um, the middle of the month all the way to the end of December being very sharp when it comes to what you're wanting, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that Capricorn. For some of you guys, it could be that you're coming off a little bit cold or distant with your partner, but again, if your partner is cross-watching right now, um, you need to understand that right now we have major transits happening where it's going to put Capricorn in it. It's almost like the ball is going to be in your court, Capricorn, and you have to make those decisions. So again, a lot of you guys will be deciding uh, to pretty much cut the cords and to let go of things that you've been trying to work out. This could be with relationships as well. If you've been uh, dealing with toxic type of relationships or partnerships where they are, you know, they leave you feeling like you've been taken for granted or like they're not appreciating all the work and effort you've put into not only wanting to move forward for yourself, but wanting to give a better life to them. And if they're just not appreciating that, I do see a lot of cutting of cords here with the Ten of Swords having to. Uh, detach yourself from that which drags you down. And I think that this is going, this is momentum energy Capricorn for uh, the end of December going into the first uh, week of January. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do see fire energy. I see air energy and I also see water energy coming towards you. This could be the opportunity to connect with a person that is going to be bringing a lot of emotional fulfillment to you Capricorn. Now, if you felt like you've had plenty of options, um, but all of the options that you've had, it just hasn't felt organic to you, what Spirit is telling you is that there's absolutely nothing wrong with not wanting to rush. Perhaps that's one of the mistakes you've done in the past, which is rush into relationships. And it's almost like you're trying to be more discerning. And I think that this is something that is to the best of your interest because you will be having not only emotional fulfillment, but I do see you guys connecting with someone that perhaps is going to bring you guys that long term that you're looking for, that relationship or partnership where both of you guys can grow. Now, for some of you Capricorns, you may be dealing or finding out in the month, the end of December going into January, that perhaps a person close to you, a friend, someone that's been uh has been more of a friend than anything to you, they may be confessing or professing their feelings to you. Now, the reason I say that is because there is a, fam a feeling of familiarity with the page of wands, with the page of wands and the four of wands. It's almost like it's a person very close to you or a person that you know. Um, and then the nine of cups, which is emotional fulfillment, but also a wish coming true. And the wish comes through through unexpected circumstances or surprise. So you guys stay tuned for that. If this starts to connect with you guys, don't be surprised. Um, don't be surprised about that. Because uh, I do see unexpected news coming to you. And it could be very well a person that is uh, emotionally invested in you or is actually uh, 
seeing you in a different light and they confess to you the feelings that they've been having or that they are having for you. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, I think that uh, work has a lot to do with the effect that it's brought into the relationship. But I want to say um, kicking off the, the year, the first month of the year, I do see a lot of wish fulfillments for you guys happening. Now, with the four of wands, this could also symbolize like if you felt that there's been instability in the home, whether it's with finances, whether it's with even your children kind of like not getting along that well, uh, or just minor bickering, what Spirit is telling you is that all of this energy is energy that needs to be released. So pretty much deal with it. Uh, the first, you know, the, the first, I want to say the first two to three weeks of December and you'll start to see that as that energy starts to dissipate, more balance starts to come in, more loving energy, more understanding type of energy. I think that this is just residue energy from the conclusion of the year. Um, so again, like I said, a lot of blessings coming for you, Capricorns. Now, I do want to mention that they are uh, telling me that there may be a decision that needs to be made in regards to relationships. Now, this could very well be connected to those of you guys that are single, um, where, again, like I said, you actually start to deal with a person, uh, and it almost feels like you're connecting with them. And then all of a sudden, someone that you know or someone that is close to you or perhaps someone you confide in will confess to you the feelings that they have for you. And this is going to, you know, take you aback. Um, what they're saying is don't rush into making the decision. Don't feel like you're pressured because you're not. You're in control of the situation and make the decision at the end of the day what's best for you. All right. So I'm going to be pulling out a card. And this card is uh, the message that's coming towards you for the month or the remaining of the month of December going into January. And you have new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So this could this could be speaking directly about the message that came through, uh, feeling like everyone perhaps has been bickering or arguing, not major fights or anything like that, but just seems like you guys are not on the same page. Be patient with that because like I said, I feel that this is the left residue energy for pretty much the conclusion of the year. And going on, uh, going towards the new year, you're definitely going to see everything start to balance itself out. Now, for those of you guys that are single, again, the new moon does represent a new beginning. For some of you guys, this could be a cancer. And what they're saying that if it is a cancer that you're dealing with, this could be a cancer that is from your past. So it could be a cancer energy that comes back around and is trying to connect with you, or perhaps uh, they're the ones that confess the feelings they have for you. Um, but again, it is talking about love as a general. Um, in it, it, from a different, I guess I could say from a wider perspective, uh, you and your loved ones are safe. Could represent when it comes to feeling like you have to make a choice or a decision between two people. Make the decision of the person that you feel you're most safe with, the person that you feel uh, makes you feel more like at home or at ease. Um, that will, making that choice, uh, definitely running with the emotion or making a decision based off of your heart, I think it's going to definitely bring to you good results. Um, but again, the key word here is giving the opportunity to that one person or that specific energy that makes you feel safe and makes you feel more at ease and at home, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other for the, this. Uh, sorry, not for December, for January readings. I'll see you guys then. Bye.